Big opportunities in life have to be seized. Uh, we don't do very many things, but when we get the chance to do something that's right and big, we've got to do it. And even to, to do it in a small scale is just as big a mistake almost as not doing it at all. Imagine waking up to a life where your financial worries are a thing of the past. The bills are paid. The life you've always fantasized about is now a reality. You know what made it all possible. The incredible power of dividends. Yes, dividends. Did you know that in 2022, the S&P 500 companies paid out over $82.5 billion in dividends to their shareholders? What if I told you that historically dividends have accounted for a significant portion of the stock market's total return? That's right, a whopping 42% on average. So, the next question becomes, how can we make use of this incredible wealth-building tool to secure our monthly payout of $4,800? Stay with us, because we're about to reveal the game-changing strategies to make it happen. Today, we are going on a journey guided by the wisdom of a legendary figure in finance, Warren Buffett, to uncover the fastest way to achieve financial freedom. Our goal is to transform your investments into a steady stream of income through dividends with the ultimate aim of securing a monthly payout of $4,800. So, let's dive right into the video. To kick things off, let's understand what dividends are and why they're crucial for achieving financial independence. As the legendary investor Warren Buffett once said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. Dividends are your ticket to making money while you sleep. And here's how it works. When you invest in a company's stock, you essentially become a part owner of that company. Now, when that company makes a profit, which we hope it does, it has a choice of what to do with those earnings. One of the options is to distribute a portion of those profits to its shareholders. And this distribution of profits is what we call dividends. Dividends are typically paid out regularly, often quarterly. But some companies do it monthly or annually. They're usually in the form of cash, although they can be in the form of additional shares of stock known as stock dividends or dividend reinvestment plans. So, in a nutshell, dividends are your slice of the pie. When a company shares its profits with its shareholders, it can be a steady source of income for investors, making it an essential tool for building wealth and achieving financial freedom. It's a strategy that Warren Buffett himself has used to accumulate wealth over the years. The, um, well, the answer is I do believe in dividends in, in a great many situations, including many of the ones that companies in which we own stock. Warren Buffett also emphasized the importance of building a strong portfolio. He says diversification is protection against ignorance. It makes little sense if you know what you're doing. We had more reason to retain all of our earnings. If, if C's Candy were a standalone company, we would simply pay out a lot of the... the the earnings, practically all of the earnings and dividends, are just like we do now, except it goes to Berkshire. That we like our, we like the companies in which we have investments to pay to us the money they can't use efficiently in their own business. In some cases, that's 100 percent of what they earn. In some cases, it's zero percent of the earn. We own some stocks that don't pay any dividends. So, how do we build a powerful dividend portfolio? Building a dividend portfolio that can stand the test of time requires a well-thought-out strategy. Let's break down the key components that will help you create a powerful dividend-generating machine. Just as Warren Buffett advocates number one, selecting dividend-paying stocks, one of the first steps is to carefully select dividend-paying stocks. Look for companies with a history of stable or increasing dividend payments. These are often found in sectors like consumer staples, utilities, and healthcare. Research is your best friend here. Understand the company's financial health, its competitive advantage, and its ability to generate cash flow to sustain dividend payments. Number two is diversification. Diversification is a concept close to above its heart. It means spreading your investments across different sectors and industries to reduce risk. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. A well-diversified portfolio is more resilient to market fluctuations. Remember, while dividends can provide income, the value of your investments can also go up or down. So, diversification is your safety net. Number three is the long-term perspective. If you had a punch card with only 20 punches, 
You weren't going to get another one in the rest of your life. You would think a long time before every investment decision. And you would make good ones, and you'd make big ones. And you probably wouldn't even use all 20 punches at the, in your lifetime, but you wouldn't need to. Buffett is famous for his long-term approach to investing. He once said, our favorite holding period is forever when it comes to dividend stocks. This long-term perspective is invaluable. Dividend income can compound over time, especially if you reinvest those dividends back into your portfolio. This snowball effect can significantly boost your income down the road. Number four, assessing risk. Another Buffett principle is to avoid companies with excessive debt or those that cut dividends frequently. These could be red flags for your portfolio stability. Focus on companies with a solid balance sheet and a track record of weathering economic downturns. Number five, monitoring and adjusting. Lastly, regularly review your portfolio. Companies can change and economic condition can shift. Adjust when necessary to ensure your portfolio continues to align with your financial goals. By following these principles, you can build a powerful dividend portfolio that has the potential to provide you with a steady stream of income and help you achieve your financial goals. Now let's get practical and calculate how you can achieve your goal of living off dividends. We'll break down the steps and strategies you can implement to reach that magical $4,800 per month in dividend income. Remember, the goal here is to make your money work for you, just as Warren Buffett has emphasized over the years. Blue chip snaps where we own it or or even diversified retail. We, we wanted them all to be compounding, in effect, be compounding machines. That's why people gave us capital. That's why we put our own capital in. Let's dive deep into the first strategy on our journey to living off dividends, investing in blue chip dividend stocks. This strategy is akin to building a strong foundation for your financial house. Blue chip dividend stocks are the bedrock of many successful investment portfolios. These companies are typically well-established giants in their respective industries, known for their financial stability, solid track records, and consistent dividend payments. What makes them particularly attractive to income-oriented investors is their reliability. Blue-chip stocks tend to weather economic storms better than their smaller, riskier counterparts, making them a secure source of dividend income. In the words of Warren Buffett, the most important quality for an investor is temperament, not intellect. You need a temperament that neither derives great pleasure from being with the crowd nor against the crowd. I'm not recommending that people buy stocks today or tomorrow or next week or next month. I think it all depends on your circumstances, but you shouldn't buy stocks unless you expect, in my view, you, you expect to hold them for a very extended period and you are prepared financially and psychologically. Buffett's excellent advice underlines the importance of discipline and long-term thinking when it comes to investing in blue-chip dividend stocks rather than chasing short-term market trends. Focus on companies with proven resilience. These well-established companies often have competitive advantages, substantial market shares, and a history of consistently rewarding their shareholders with dividend payments, often for decades. By incorporating blue-chip dividend stocks into your portfolio, you're laying the groundwork for a reliable stream of income that can help you achieve financial independence. These stocks provide stability, income, and the potential for long-term capital appreciation. Hence, investing in blue-chip dividend stocks aligns perfectly with Warren Buffett's philosophy of seeking quality investments and holding them for the long haul. It's a time-tested strategy that can put you on the path to living off dividends and achieving your financial goals. So, consider adding some of these rock-solid dividend payers to your investment portfolio today. Our second strategy for achieving financial independence through dividends is to invest in dividend growth stocks. Unlike the stable blue-chip stocks we discussed earlier, Dividend growth stocks offer a unique advantage. They not only pay dividends, but consistently increase them over time. Warren Buffett's wisdom echoes in this strategy. The best investment you can make is in yourself, in the context of investing. This translates to seeking out companies that continually invest in their own growth and are committed to increasing their dividend payments. Dividend growth stocks are often found among companies that operate in industries with substantial potential for expansion, or those with innovative products and services. These firms prioritize reinvesting their earnings into research, development, and expansion. 
all while rewarding their shareholders with rising dividends. The appeal featuring dividend growth stocks lies in their compounding power as these companies increase their dividends year after year. The income you receive grows not just in dollar terms, but as a percentage of your initial investment. This compounding effect can significantly accelerate your path to financial independence. While dividend growth stocks may not offer the highest initial yields, their long-term potential to generate substantial income is unparalleled. These stocks reward investors who understand the value of compounding and are willing to let time work in their favor. As your investments grow, so does your income, making it a potent strategy for those looking to transition to a life funded by dividends. So, investing in dividend growth stocks aligns perfectly with Warren Buffett's emphasis on lifelong learning in a long-term perspective. By putting your money into companies that prioritize growth and increasing dividends, you're not just investing in stocks. You're investing in your financial future. So, consider adding some of these promising dividend growth stocks to your portfolio to pave the way towards living off dividends. Strategy number three on our journey to achieve financial independence through dividends introduces an interesting twist, covered call exchange traded funds or ETFs. These investment vehicles can be a powerful addition to your dividend income strategy. Warren Buffett's well-known advice guides us in this strategy. The stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient in the context of covered call ETFs. Patience can indeed be a virtue. So, what are covered call ETFs and how do they work? Cover call ETFs are a unique investment vehicle that combines stocks and options. These funds hold a portfolio of dividend-paying stocks while simultaneously selling call options on those same stocks. This strategy generates additional income for investors, potentially boosting your monthly dividends. Here's how it works. Covered call ETFs typically include a selection of high-quality dividend-paying stocks. These stocks form the foundation of the ETF's portfolio. The ETF then sells call options on the stocks and holds a call option. Gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to buy shares of the underlying stock at a specified price. This strike price within a certain time frame by selling these call options. The ETF collects premiums from buyers. This premium income is distributed to investors in the form of dividends. However, selling call options also caps the potential upside of the stocks in the portfolio. If the stock price rises significantly, the ETF may have to sell those shares at the agreed-upon strike price. Missing out on additional gains cover called ETFs are designed for investors who are willing to trade some potential upside for steady income-generating dividends. These ETFs are particularly attractive for income-oriented investors who want to enhance their dividend income without taking on excessive risk. They provide a way to squeeze more income out of your existing holdings without making significant changes to your investment strategy. Now let's look at some real examples of covered call ETFs. With a trailing yield period of 12 months, giving approximately 12% global X S&P 500 cover call ETF, or XYLD. XYLD follows an index that follows the S&P 500 stocks and sells covered call options on them. This strategy aims to provide investors with attractive yield potential while maintaining exposure to large-cap U.S. stocks. Pro Shares K1 Free Crude Oil Strategy, ETF or OILK, seeks to provide exposure to crude oil by investing in a combination of futures contracts and covered call options on crude oil futures contracts. This unique approach can offer significant income potential for those interested in commodities iShares MSCI Brazil ETF, or IWC. While not a covered call, ETF itself, IWC is an example of a traditional ETF that invests in Brazilian stocks. You can explore covered call ETFs that focus on specific international markets like Brazil to add diversification to your dividend strategy. In short, covered call ETFs offer a unique approach to generating income from your investments by following Buffett's advice to be patient and understanding the trade-off between income and potential upside. You can use these ETFs as a valuable tool in your journey to live off dividends. Consider incorporating them into your portfolio alongside your other dividend strategies to diversify your income sources and potentially accelerate your path toward financial independence. Now, 
let's do some simple math to see how you can reach the goal of $4,800 per month through covered call ETFs with a 12% yield compared to the traditional dividend investing method. If you aim to generate $4,800 per month from covered call ETFs with a 12% annual yield, first, you need to calculate the annual income required. The annual income required equals $4,800 per month, 12 months equaling $57,600 per year. Now divide the annual income required by the yield percentage to determine the total investment needed. The total investment needed equals $480,000. So, you would need to invest approximately $480,000 in covered call ETFs with a 12% yield to generate $4,800 per month. Let's compare this to the traditional dividend investing method, assuming a more typical dividend yield of around 3%, which is common for blue chip stocks. Annual income required $57,600 per year. The total investment needed equals the annual income required divided by the yield percentage. So total investment needed equals $57,600 divided by 0.03 or 3% equals $1,920,000. With a 3% yield, you would need to invest approximately $1,920,000 in traditional dividend-paying stocks to generate the same annual income of $57,600. So the conclusion from the math, if you want to make $4,800 a month with covered call ETFs with a 12% yield, you would need to invest $480,000. But if you want to make the same $4,800 a month from traditional dividend stocks with a 3% yield, you would need to invest $1,920,000. As you can see, the traditional dividend investing method requires a significantly larger investment to achieve the same income level as covered call ETFs with a 12% yield. Covered call ETFs can provide a higher yield, making them potentially more appealing to investors looking to generate income with a smaller initial investment. However, it's essential to consider risk factors as covered call ETFs may have limited capital appreciation potential compared to traditional dividend stocks. Additionally, diversification and individual financial goals should play a significant role in determining your investment strategy. Always consult with a financial advisor to tailor your approach to your specific needs and risk tolerance. In conclusion, whether you choose the power of covered call ETFs with a 12% yield or opt for the traditional dividend investing method, remember that your journey to living off dividends is not a sprint but a marathon. The path you choose should align with your financial goals. Risk tolerance and investment horizon. Both strategies have their merits, and the key is to remain patient, stay informed, and stay invested. Happy investing. See you in the next video. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much.